H T K B H T K B H T K B. This is the house of camera I built. Time to get started. YouTube's kind of broken still. A couple days ago, the entire site apparently went down. Nobody could do anything with anything, and then people could start viewing stuff, access their homepage, and most of the problems fell to people making YouTube videos. No idea what the actual technical difficulties of all this was. All I know is the effect it had on me and possibly a couple of YouTubers. Going through my subscriptions is horrible. I've subscribed to a lot of people, and there's a couple that just throw garbage up there. Machinima.com in particular, and I like to sift through it and X out the ones I don't want to watch. Or, now you can go to your subscriptions and they actually go away after you view them from that page, but not if you view them through the autoplay. I don't know why that's hard to do to mark a video viewed or not, if it's in your subscriptions. Uh, as a computer science major, there should be a way to do that. There should be a way to make a little X off your homepage in your subscription box, actually clear the, the thumbnails, like it did a week ago. I don't understand. Um, so now I'm having trouble watching my YouTube videos of frustration, raw, but it's a great semblance of what would happen, like, at the end of the world. Uh, if you ever watch Twilight Zone, they, uh, there's an episode on there about that, about uh, nuclear fallout being imminent and people start lock, trying to lock themselves in their bomb shelters or their cellars in their houses. In this one rich white neighborhood, um, <coughs> the ol only one family built their, their bomb shelter out of the group of friends having a party. Uh, and so now everybody wants that bomb shelter, but it's only going to let like three to four people survive. Um, so <laughs> they're all trying to break through this like heavy wooden door or whatever to get in the bomb shelter uh, because the family who built it doesn't want to share that everyone else should build their own. Uh, <clears throat> and so uh, all the all of his friends, the, the father's friends, are now trying to kill him to take over and live through there, and beat down this door, and threaten him and his family, and all this craziness. Um, and it's a great example of what we really have when our comfortable civil lifestyle goes away. Capitalism rises up and takes over. There's no us. It's me, me, me at that point. It's almost just a fact of what I like to think that we're better people than that. I like to think I'm a better person than that. There are situations where I would like to think it's guaranteed, but maybe that's not always the case. And survival instinct kicks in when it's needed. A lot of people don't think about it until it's almost too late. YouTube crashing is almost like that. All the YouTubers and all the all the audience members don't know what to do. Oh, because they don't have the tools to fix it. If the world went under and we went back to the dark ages, we wouldn't have technology. We wouldn't have assembly lines. We wouldn't have cars. That sort of thing. How many people would actually survive that happening? Not a whole crazy lot. Uh, because immediately all of this academic academia and all of this science work and all the technology work, very little of it is going to apply to helping to survive. You agriculturalists, um, more than likely your roots and thugs too are going to because there, there's not going to be rules anymore. There were barely rules back then in the Dark Ages, so of them were through fear, so because all the thugs were on the side of the king or queen, and going back to like colonial America, uh, especially America, uh, we were a republic. Everybody managed themselves, and you just if you didn't like it, you stay out of their business, which is why the South is like it is, because they hang on to that instead of moving forward into a uh, more centralized society, uh, which is what we've become, whether or not anyone really likes it. Uh, the states themselves have created this dependency <coughs> on the federal government for whatever reason. Uh, I agree with centralization. 
how we're doing it's kind of weak. Uh, because essentially now, like, all the states are blackmailed into it because if they don't cooperate, then the federal, federal government pulls their funding, which works almost like tax returns because the citizens of the states, if not the states, give money to the federal government, and the federal government pipes it back to the states for funding. Tax returns. You pay taxes throughout, and then... Uh, or all based off your income, and at the end of the year, you get a check back of your money that the government says, oh, hey, we don't actually need this from you uh, because it looks like you need it more. And that's how it used to work. Even colonial America, people manage themselves. They followed the rules they wanted to or broke the rules they'd get away with. Kind of how we're living today. Whether you want to believe it or not, that's how it works. So now we're just kind of thrown into that, and I, I can barely work my YouTube subscriptions out without dumping people. And then even then, it's like 24 hours before videos that I don't want to watch stop coming in. Which is fine. I understand it takes processing time for that kind of request. Not a big deal. Such a crap time for me to start doing videos because I was hoping to expand on uh, some of the ideas floating around YouTube. I've still got to go back to Dan Brown's stuff and uh, get a piece of it. Um, I want to do video responses on a regular basis to people, which will be much shorter than anything I ever do on the As far as YouTube crashing being the end of the world, it, we're just limited in, in what we're able to do to survive or watch YouTube videos. It's not like anyone's actually going to die because YouTube failed. The worst that would ever happen is like YouTube closed down tomorrow. Some of these guys would have to get new jobs. I'd be honestly surprised if anyone made it like 100% off of bully for them if they do. That's awesome. I don't know if anyone else can, uh, has a pull out there. I've sent a, a message up to change tell YouTube to fix the rule to close that button on the home page. Hopefully everybody else can watch their YouTube and find something entertaining. With that said, I'm Cameron. Have a nice day. I'm Cameron. Have a nice day. Awesome.